The never before fallacy. This fallacy occurs when someone looks at an idea or a concept and puts it down, denounces it, and their reasoning is, well, that's never happened before. So an example would have been in the late 1800s, someone would say, hey, I'm going to build something out of metal and wood and plastic, and I am going to get a running go, and then I'm going to use aerodynamics and get this thing off the ground so that it flies for some good distance. Well, people would say that idea of an airplane is ludicrous. It's never happened before. You can't ever show me any example of when that has ever worked. Well, that is true. But there are many new things that are happening, and we cannot discount something simply because it hasn't happened before. All new things have not happened before. Another common example of this is when people suggest a society without coercive force, a, an anarchist-type society. And a frequent argument is, well, throughout mankind, it has never worked. There has never been an anarchist society that existed for a long time. Well, this certainly is a fallacy because it does not in any way prove or provide any evidence that it's not a good idea or something, uh, an idea that should be perfected or improved upon. It just simply is saying it hasn't happened before or it hasn't happened yet, as philosopher and corporate trainer, public speaker Terry Brock says, which I just love. Think about using the word yet after many of these types of statements. I have never jumped three feet into the air yet. There's always a possibility that something could happen. Maybe it's a small possibility. Maybe it's a large possibility. But don't let anyone tell you that simply because a computer has not been invented, if somebody told you that in 1920, that does not mean that never can one be invented that would work just beautifully. <laughs>